Today, I made a mobile game from those fake ads into a real game on Scratch. Alright, let's give the project a very creative title. Hmm... Jokes aside though, the first thing that I did was add two vertical stripes to make it look vertical, as this is supposed to be a mobile game. Next, I drew up the players, enemies, and barrels and got them into the game. I even gave them a little animation. But we're still missing one tiny detail here, which is that we can't even shoot the enemies. So I made some projectiles and coded them in. Now I can shoot. Nice. The next thing that this game needs is a way to lose. So I added a heart system and also made the game stop when you ran out of them. After this, I decided to add a score. This way, the player will be able to know how far they've progressed. And after many, many seconds of copying the code from my other project, we now have a score counter. Alright, now that we have the very basics of the game done, I think it's time for some stuff that will make this game a lot more interesting. So I looked at the fake ads again and I realized that the barrels often contained some sort of weapon. And I decided that I would take this one step further and even add a full upgrade system. So I added a fireball upgrade and also a faster shooting upgrade too. This way it's actually worth it to get the barrels because they would have been useless to the player otherwise. I also decided to have the barrels possibly even drop hearts if you're below full health. This way, you could recover from really bad situations if you were lucky enough. And since we just upgraded the barrels, I think it's only fair that we upgrade the zombies too. So I added this giant zombie variant with loads of health. But it does move a lot slower compared to the normal zombie, and it also spawns much more rarely. And the last tweak to the zombies I did was making it so that zombies spawned more quickly the further you progress through the game. This way, the game will get harder as you keep on playing, which makes it much more interesting. And now, the game is coming along quite nicely. So now it's time for some sound design. So I hopped on freesound.org and found a few really cool sound effects. Take a listen. And I also found some music in the YouTube audio library too. And to top it all off, I added a main menu and some instructions in the game just to make sure that the player understood how to play. So without further ado, here's their final project. And you can play with the link in the description. And that's it for this video. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.